Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kyle Harris and today I'm going to be commentating on a game between Hook, playing the Protoss, and Miles Morrow, the winner of the recent IEM, Intel Extreme Masters Challenge, I believe. Uh, this is a, this was a show match played between Hook and Miles Morrow, I believe. Um, and I believe this is one of the games, or five of the games, that they played very recently, so... I thought I'd give it a bit of a cast. Uh, I'm not sure which game this is in the series. Um, so if people do want me to cast the other games in this series, I'll be more than happy to do so. But if not, it doesn't matter too much. Anyway, um, Hook uh, recently winning some other... What did he win? He won something in the US. I can't remember what the name of it is. Oh my god, I'm such a noob. But anyway, yeah. So two winners here having a lovely show match against each other. And kicking things off by Hook sending out a probe in the wrong direction. As well as throwing down that pile on at 10, well he was 9, <laughs> and Chrono boosting out his probes now. Like any good Protoss would do. Mazmara sending out um, his probe over here to have a look. And he's throwing down a barracks in an interesting position. Not sure. I'll have to see what he's doing with that. Getting as much saturation on as possible there, and Hook now bringing this probe down after seeing that there is nothing up there. Throwing down his gateway, and everything is normal. <sighs> ah, here we go. A refinery. Bit of a... Yeah. No, again, normal refinery. God, not even much going on in this game. Uh, I went to the sauna. That was fun. Uh, with my girlfriend. Yeah, we do that a lot in Finland. <laughs> yeah, it's good stuff. Just trying to fill up some time for a minute whilst these guys get going. Oh, throwing down another pylon and a, a simulator. See what's going on the production tab. Orbital, orbital command coming out for Morrow. And a tech building, tech lab going down on his barracks. Going to see some either Reapers or Marauders very early on. These probes and uh, SCVs crossing paths. Now Morrow going the wrong way. And going to be going the right way after that. Bring out Zealot now, hook over here, and Mara now bringing out that first Marauder. So we are going to see quite a bit of Marauder play. Marauder is so strong at this in the current state of the game at the moment. Going to decimate a lot of the tier one units of the Protoss if he does not use them effectively. Hook is now throwing down his Cybercar and another pylon to make sure he doesn't Psylock himself. Something we're all very prone to at this point in time, but we just need to get through it. Not bad saturation going on. Could be a little better at this point in time. I think he's going for more units than anything to be able to protect himself at the very beginning this scv coming up and this first marauder coming to be coming up as well so he's going to be applying some early pressure very oh no he's just going for the watchtower anyway he's researching uh, concussive shells as well as hook getting his first stalker out and researching warp gate this scv getting taken down by that stalker there and we do see a second barracks going down for mouse morrow the second assimilator now going down for a hook, and he is taking down these uh, destructible rocks as fast as he can. And we do see a reactor going down for Morrow as well, so we're going to see a lot of marines. Um, I imagine it's Mor Morrow is going to be sticking to an infantry build during this game, going heavy on these tech buildings. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens against these tier 1 Protoss units. It does seem though that uh, Hook is going for some kind of 3-4 gate play and throwing another pylon down in the back there. So this 4 gate or 3 gate, four g I'm sure he's going to throw down another gate eventually. It could be extremely powerful against the lack of units that the Terran seems to have currently. He does have them scattered somewhat all across the map. Nice positioning though, good coverage of these towers, being able to see quite a lot of what is going on on this map. It's very important to get as much vision as possible and I imagine Moro is going to be throwing down an expansion when he hits that 400 on this gold. So he's going to be in very good stead there if he can keep that for as long as possible. Do we see a fourth gate going down yet? No, but he is warping in units from these three gates. There's a nice mix there going on. Not heavy on the sentries and he's going to be warping in another sentry actually. So he could be use some good force fields if he gets them into position. We do see Stimpak being researched here for Morrow, and more Marines and Marauders being pumped out, heading to the middle of this 
uh, map however mm, yeah. hook is now moving down with his forces this is a good mix of units here and if he does catch these units out of position oh no they are grouping up now so this is going to be an interesting little engagement i don't know i think uh, Moro is going to profit from this. Oh, but those force fields are great, blocking out those two marauders. And it seems that those force fields really did the damage in that contest. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> these zealots now are getting perilously close to dying. And these marauders are going to be able to kite them infinitely and take this guy with the help of those concussive shells. Moro now bringing down this gold expansion. As well as we do see the robotics facility down for Hook. So he's going three great robo build. I um, imagine we're going to see maybe a, probably an observer come out of there instantly. Let's hope so. Bleah. Anyway, funny. Um, Moro now bringing down that factory and another barracks in order to bolster his forces. And oh, we do see a <laughs> robotics bay going down for Hook now. So. No doubt, very soon we're going to see some Colossus play going on. Going to decimate this infantry force of Ma Moro here. He is doing a nice transfer though, Moro, over to this gold expansion. And the Protoss player right now needs to make sure he makes as much of as much damage with this force as possible. Otherwise, this expansion is going to absolutely put Hook in a terrible position. Morrow is now reinforcing this forward position here with more marines and more marauders. However, once that first colossi does come out, um, he's gonna uh, colossus does come out. He's gonna be s uh, hook is gonna be stood in good stead, I believe, against these marine uh, these infantry units. Now scouting over here to make sure there is no gold expansion and gonna be working on these rocks. So he's gonna only have another entrance into the base. However, hook does see this with this nice placement of this probe and pylon. But Morrow just continuing to stream in these infantry units. And as we can see here, basically just bringing that factory into play for this starport so he can get some medivacs out to heal this infantry ball. So going this MMM build. Now we've got these two refineries up from here. Uh, this expansion going to be getting quite a lot of gas out to fund those medivacs. And that first Colossus is now coming out. He needs to get that Thermal Lance upgrade as quickly as possible to make these as viable as they can possibly be. Without that, they are not fantastic. But that three extra range is going to decimate these infantry. He's only... That was interesting. He took them... <laughs> Moro took those rocks very low and pulled back. Ah, it's because he saw these in the middle. Didn't want to get caught out too much. But even without this thermal lance upgrade, it's uh, this colossi is still going to decimate a lot of this infantry. And now he's pincering in these units, trying to take out as much as he can. But he does take out a stalker. So for the position that he was in, oh, two stalkers. So a very good exchange to, if <laughs> relatively speaking, for Morrow there. The uh, chances are he could have killed nothing. It does seem that Hook here is very, very heavy on these zealots. I would have liked to have seen him get charge out for this infantry ball because they are going to shred them very quickly. But this Colossus is going to be great help in st stimming up now and pushing in. He's got the Guardian shield up. More zealots coming in and these... Uh, oh, the Colossi goes down from these stimmed marauders and it seems like all these zealots are going to be pushed back. He really needed zealot charge and the thermal lance upgrade, but it was to no use at that point. The stim again, he's going to take out this Colossi? No, it just barely gets away and he's bringing... Oh, fantastic play, c hunting down this Colossi. And all these zealots actually not doing too bad a job on these um, infantry down here, but that Colossus did go down up there. Moro now sending in this factory to do a bit of scouting since it is totally useless during this MMM build. And Moro now in a position where I believe he's going to have firm control unless he allows a lot of more of these um, colossi to come out. I'm surprised that uh, Hook has not gone for that thermal lance upgrade, but we shall see how this plays out. Moro now getting that infantry plus one. Uh, weapons and it's going to be extending me an extremely good stead. Oh, does have two Vikings out as well, so that's going to destroy that Colossus without this uh, Stalker support, especially if he doesn't have any Blink t uh, researched. But it <laughs> again, in this situation, Hook, I still believe, would be a lot better off with charge, and especially, of course, <laughs> would be a lot better off with those Thermal Lance upgrades. But at this point, I think that Hook is falling behind way too much. This gold expansion has been up for way too long, and Hook has not even scouted this expansion. He does have these two Colossus, and they are f uh, guaranteed going to be able to rip through this army, but without the support of 
the charge and the thermal lances. I'm not sure how well he's going to be able to do, especially with these Vikings in the air. So we're going to see an engagement now. These Vikings coming close and going to be taking out these Colossi. All these thermal lances going down on these, but they have steamed up and they're going to be ripping through all those units. And it was just a matter of numbers. <laughs> Hook is going to have to GG out of this, and he does. Oh, well. <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching this game, guys. A bit of a short PVT. I'm ashamed the the Protoss did not win, but oh well. It's good to see a few Protoss losses and learn from it. So yeah, one I I believe the charge would have made the difference, uh, or, or a bit of a difference at least during this match, and also scouting this base and doing something about it. So thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.